What is up my friends? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. It's been a little bit, I know, I've been busy. If you watch up the channel and you follow me on social media, you'll know where I've been. It's been a very busy week. But uh, yes, today we're talking UFC 284, Islam Makachev versus Alexander Volkanovsky in Perth, Australia. The pound for pound number one and the pound for pound number two are going at it in the ring. Have we ever had that in the UFC before? That should be enough to sell a, sell the fight by itself. The pound for pound number one versus the pound for pound number two. I mean, you're probably it's probably not the most the world's biggest talking contest by any means, but I mean, the pound for pound number one and the pound for pound number two, like that's gotta sell. Come on. So today we're gonna talk main event and co-main event uh, because those are the only two really good fights per se, like, well, not good fights, but like, the well-known sort of thing, like, you know, you got your Jimmy Crudes, I'm pretty sure, oh, uh, what's his face is on there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good Australian guys on this card, but like, there's, like, the known fighters we're gonna talk about, Islam, Volk, uh, Emmett, and Yair Rodriguez, so without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So, we're gonna start off with our first title fight of the evening. Uh, interim title, at, uh, oh my god. Interim title on the line at featherweight between Yaya Rodriguez and Josh Emmett. Now, this this could be an interesting fight in more ways than one. I mean, I like Josh Emmett. He's, he's, a, he's like a technical brawler. He's got power in both hands. He can shut your lights out at any moment. And I mean, he's definitely more of a striking based fighter. Like. I don't see this fight going to the ground much, if not at all, but I feel like if it does go to the ground, I feel like Yair Rodriguez has a bit of an advantage. I think he's more skilled in the jiu-jitsu side of things, so if it goes to the ground, if need be, I think Yair Rodriguez would win that battle, but that being said, I think, uh, I think on the feet, it's going to come down to a well, little... Both fighters are skilled, so it's gonna, it's honestly just gonna come down to more skill than like, duh. But like, uh, it's it's not it's technical. Like, if because Yair's gonna have the reach on Josh Emmett, so can Josh Emmett duck, slip, get under those punches, throw a one-two head kick, uppercuts, throw that big left hook of his that I know he likes, a big overhand I know Josh Emmett likes as well. It's a really good technical fight, this one. And I really, I like the dynamic that they're creating because Volk's in the main event at lightweight going to, looking to get double champ status. Yet there's an interim fight for uh, the division that he's currently the champion of at 145. So I really like the dynamic that they're going for here. I see what they're doing here. But I'm gonna, I don't know who I'm gonna take on this fight. I'm going to lean towards Yair Rodriguez because I feel like he, if it's going to come down to a skills matchup, I think Yair's a little bit more skilled, I think he's got a little bit more speed, I think he's got some better technique, so if it, when it really comes down to it, I think Yair Rodriguez is going to win this fight. I feel like it's going to be like one of them like sharpshooter five rounders pretty much, so I think Yair's going to win a decision, there's going to be points where I think they both drop, it's probably going to be... Uh, another fight of the year for 2023, man, like, holy god, we're so spoiled for fights in 2023, like, just think ahead, like, Jones and Gon got announced, uh, Leon and Usman, Izzy Pereira too, Masvidal's coming back in Miami at that, I'm so hyped for that, uh, we're gonna see Colby back sometime soon against, like, Chemayev or Bilal Muhammad, um, god, we already have the pound for pound number two and number one fighting, and it's February, and um, McGregor Chandler, they're couching the ultimate fighter. Like, we're spoiled as fight fans this year. Like, we, we've got it made. Final fight of the day, the main event of the evening. Islam Makachev versus Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Man, oh man. This is gonna be such a good fight. I mean, let's start. Let's start with the hometown fighter, Alex Volkanovsky. Uh, I remember when I watched Alex Volkanovsky's first, like, real test. Oh, notification. 
Um, I remember watching Alexander Volkanovsky's first real test in the UFC against Chad Mendez, and he passed that with flying colors. And I, w I was on the Volkanovsky hype train. I was like, damn, this, this kid looks good. I mean, he could, he could definitely be champion one day. But then I realized, oh man, he's gonna have to beat Max Holloway, isn't he? Uh, Max, world's biggest Max Holloway fan here, by the way. But yeah, I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with Volkanovsky. I mean, phenomenal fighter, fantastic, strong, determined. I've never seen a fighter who can get themselves out of rock bottom like Alexander Volkanovsky can. His mindset and his will to win is on a completely different level than most fighters I've seen in the UFC octagon. The, the way he was in that choke against Brian Ortega, most people tap like within five seconds of that choke. He not only was his head bigger than a balloon, like he got his way out of it. Like that's nuts, man. Like Vol Volkanovsky is that guy. Uh, but yeah, I think I think he's got a real, real test in front of him. Well, no, no, duh. He's fighting the pound for pound number two. Uh, Islam Makachev. Khabib's little bro, pretty much, from the Dagestani mountains, that hardcore wrestling. I actually got an insight into some of their training yesterday as a fel fellow fighter. I know what it's like to go through some of that stuff, and it is no fun. Uh, high altitude, let alone doing it at high altitude with sprints, uh, cold, like cold water plunges, uh, regular fighting training at that like it's a lot to put your body through and those those Russians and no wonder they're beasts they wrestle bears when they're like 10 years old like holy god can you imagine wrestling a bear just could rip your whole head off at any moment like oh my god but I think Islam like my personal opinion Islam Makachev he's not as good on the ground as Khabib was but I do think on the feet, he's a lot better and a lot sharper. And Alex Volkanovski is going to have to be aware of that. Because, I mean, especially where uh, Islam is southpaw, too, it adds such a unique factor to this fight that he can, he can like, because uh, southpaws are more naturally longer for some reason than, a, than an orthodox fighter. I don't know why. But, like, say this is the jab hand of the southpaw and the lead hand of an orthodox fighter. There's a big difference there, right? I don't know if you can see it going through the camera, but there, there's a big difference between a jab hand of an orthodox fighter and a jab hand of a southpaw fighter. So I think I think there's going to be highs and lows for both fighters in this fight. There's obviously going to be strong suits for each fighter, but that ground game of Volk not Volkanovski, that ground game of Makachev's is not something that can be messed around with. And Volk's gotta take it seriously, man. He's got a good, good fight in front of him, so. Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to this one. It's gonna be a great fight for both athletes and combatants. Who am I taking? I'm gonna take Islam Makachev. I'm gonna take him by a decision. But I do, I know a lot of people are going to take, are taking Islam in this fight, and I can see why, but I think Volkanovski is probably going to be uh, Islam's hardest fight at, a, at 155 pounds, and Volk's never even fought at 155 pounds, at least in the UFC, so yeah, no, it's going to be a great fight to watch, I really look forward to it, that's for sure. Do I think Islam will win? Yes, but do I think it'll be a white lo whitewash like the Oliveira fight? To be fair, I picked Charles Oliveira in that fight, but I learned my lesson about picking against Makachev that day, but no, I don't think it'll be a whitewash at all. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up UFC 284 predictions. If you have any predictions for this fight, let me know in the comments down below this whole fight card, really. It's a good little fight card. I'm excited for it. But yeah, anyways guys, follow me on all my social medias if you're not already. And yeah, enjoy the fight Saturday night. I will see you in our next upload. Take care. Southpaw this time, using the left hand. And peace.